Greetings all, this is Woos the Collector, and this is the Collector's Geeks and Freaks Show, episode 31. Hey guys, welcome to the new year. Um, it's another one, coming on 50 this year for me. So, yep, I'm a big boy. Yeah, <laughs> but I still collect my toys. So guys, we went out to the movies this week, first movie of 2023, and we went to see Megan. Didn't realize it was PG-13 because I didn't pay attention to that watching previews and stuff. It just looked like it would be a cool horror movie. Um, was it worth seeing in the theater? In my opinion, no. This is one you can wait till it gets home. It's a, uh, It was good. It's not a bad movie. It was good. But not go see in the movies good, I don't think. Um... This is, it reminded me kind of Deadly Friend, Chucky. It's just another doll. She had some cool effects. It's a robot. You know, it's kind of like iRobot put together with um, Chucky. And you throw in some, uh, uh, what was the other one I just said? Oh, Deadly, Deadly Friend in there too. You know, and you gotta, that's an old one for, for all you Deadly Friends. Um. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the original one from the movies, is actually in that. I can't remember her name off of my top of my head, which I'm usually good with the actors' names and all. But yeah, Megan, it it was a little slow. Um, I think it, it it ran too long. I think it was almost a hundred, uh, not a hundred, uh, an hour and fifteen min, hour and fifty minutes. Um, that should have been an hour and a half movie. Uh, kills. Okay, not that many kills in it, but being PG-13. So, take it as it is. Who the Collector says, watch it, but you don't necessarily have to go to the movies. Oh, and we wanted, I wanted to share a little um, issue we had with at Cinemark this, this week. Um, this was a PG-13 movie, so there was a teenage girl who was in the wrong seat with a younger sister. Younger sister was younger than 13. And then they land up sitting right next to me and Lady Roots. Right on, sorry, it airy, airy, uh, right on Lady Woo's side. And begin texting through the whole movie. Lady Woo's had enough. She asked them politely a few times, and then the older teen said, bitch, you're pissing me off. Well, that was it for Lady Woos. She went and got the manager who hemmed and hawed about coming. Like, what am I going to do? It, uh, do your job. They are not obeying the rules. No texting when you're in a movie. You don't need your phone in a movie. If it's an emergency or you need to be on that phone, go out into the hallway. That is common courtesy. We don't need to respect each other. We but. We got to show common courtesy out in public. And these young ladies that were sitting next to us did not. Um, needless to say, the manager did escort them out. We think the father came back in towards the end of the movie with his phone flashlight because he sat right next to us. I don't know what he was doing or if he wanted to start something. But yeah, that was a whole ordeal at Cinemark this week. So people, raise your kids right like I did. Come on. Well, I, I'm not saying my kids are right, but... They had the common courtesy not to do things like that in public. But no, nope, these two entitled girls just thought they could do whatever they want. Well, this time, that didn't get them anywhere. So, keep that in mind. When you go to the movies, leave your phone in your pocket on silence, please. Common courtesy. Alright, so that was it for the Cinemark Adventure. Uh, what else have we done? Um... Watching Miss Marvel, uh, two episodes in, I fell asleep through half of the second episode. So, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's so far, I don't know much about the character. A little bit read about her, a little bit in the comics. And I think the comic character is way better than the, um, the, the, the live version. So, but that's my opinion on this one. Um, I, so, I got to rewatch the second episode. And maybe next week, I'll let you know. Maybe it'll pick up for me. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem very exciting to me. So that was the other thing we're watching. I'm still um, also watching Mayans, the Sons of Anarchy spinoff, catching up on it. But season, sorry, season three. I don't think four is out yet. So I'll decide what to pick up after that. Um, 
And then when um, out, out in the wilds this uh, weekend as well, after the movies, we went and did some shopping. So I hit up some clearance. I had a uh, Target up looking for clearance and new stuff and um, went to Walmart, didn't find anything there. But I did find clearance at Target and Kohl's. Not much, but a couple things I want to share with you. Um, I did pick up the exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi Tika Jawa. Um, if you could see that, that says 1390, it's 1389. Well, he actually rang up eight bucks and change. So he was on the final leg of the clearance. So great find. His box is a little dinged up here, but for under ten dollars for a, a twenty this I think he was retailing twenty seven. Yeah, twenty seven ninety nine and I picked him up for eight bucks and change. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good clearance find. I'm also hearing there's the um there's the Deluxe Boba Fett, if you can find him in a Target on clearance as well. Um, he's marked down for a $10. So good luck if you can find him. I'd like to find him. So I might be doing some um, uh, hunting next weekend. Uh, no movies next weekend. Next movie I think we're going to go see is uh, Knock at the Cabin um, by M. Night Shyamalan. So that'll be a couple weeks. So we'll see what we share next week. Also found in Target was Wild Riding Rogu. Uh, looked him up when I was in the store because his thing said originally $62.99. Um, I saw him the highest online for $49.99. Um, and he's selling on eBay for $25. So for $18, I picked him up and changed for uh, Lady Luz. And of course, she claimed it right away. Oh, he's so cute. Can I open him? <laughs> but yeah, you know, she's gonna open it, and play with it. The dogs will chase it, and probably wreck it. But yeah, this one's for Lady Wu. So that was another clearance find at Target. If you're interested, you can also search your local targets for that one. That was all I found at my local Target, and we went. I uh, had to do an Amazon return for Lady Wu's, and we went to Kohl's. You wouldn't think you would find collectibles in Kohl's or anything. Their toy section is very, very small. Um, but Due to Christmas, they, they bring in more stuff. So we picked up some um, character PJs and stuff like that for ourselves. But I went through the gifts because they have um, men's gifts and all that. And there's puzzles and this, that, little little trinkets and games and this, that. But I, um, but I found no figures, uh, no ornaments that I, I needed that I had already got. But I picked up Alien Fate of the Nostromo game since I'm a huge Alien fan, um, I've picked them up, and I, I've seen, I know these games are expensive, this is originally $29.99, picked them up for $11.99, so that's not a bad price for, uh, to me, these are more high-end games, so that's pretty cool, that was my clearance finds this week, um, only got a couple boxes to show, sh share with you guys this week, One's an Amazon, and then I got Entertainment Earth, which is a quite big one. That is uh, a gift from Lady Woods. She um, pre-ordered it for me a while ago to go with um, my other Spider-Man, which I will sh with with my Spider-Man. I'll show you uh, a picture of the Spider-Man where he's mounted, and then I'll show you what, what, once we mount um, this one there too. But let's get into the Amazon box first. This is a pre-order. Not in his box. The, the little box is loose. I've been waiting a while for this guy. This was like one of the only New York Comic Con exclusives I wanted. Um, of course, the Amazon driver left it out on the porch in the rain. Luckily, I got home just as it started raining harder. So... His box and everything looks awesome. So um, that's Anakin Skywalker with the lightsabers. I believe this is episode yep episode two, the Clone Wars. And this was this was a fall exclusive one. So one of the ones they sold at New York. But of course, it's a fall exclusive sticker. I don't have the New York one because I didn't go to New York Comic Con this year. So that's what I got from Amazon. 
Entertainment or ship's good. There should be a lot of packing in here, but you, you see, there's a decent sized box, and I wouldn't think for what's in here it would be this big. Um, it's got some things on it, so, but they usually use a lot of, of paper. They're a paper packer. They use paper instead of a plastic, which is good for them. It's better for the environment. Sure enough, that's what's in there. Lots of paper. Plus the, the receipt you guys don't want to see, but this is how Entertainment Earth ships. And they guarantee mint condition, and they do follow through with it. I've gotten damaged items from them, not many times, but sent them back. They sent me another one in great condition. So Entertainment Earth is one of my favorite collectible websites. Oh, this box is bigger than I thought this chapter would be. I've been waiting for this guy. Lady Wu pre ordered him for, her, for me. This is the Green Goblin. He mounts to the wall like he's flying out of the wall. I've got the Spider Man that goes with this. This is going to look awesome up on the man cave wall. But check that out. That's the Green Goblin. He's throwing pumpkin bombs. And then I got Spider Man up mounted on the wall already. Um, and he's being chased by the Green Goblin. So. It's going to look pretty cool when it's done, and I'll share some pictures with you guys. But, yeah, this was a pre-order. Um, Entertainment Earth, too, you don't necessarily um, pay full price. Um, a lot of times their pre-orders are marked down, or you can find a coupon, and that's what we did for this one. Um, let's see if I can see what we have paid. Well, he's more than I thought he was. $115. But this was a present from Lady Woods. In our relationship, we don't buy Christmas, birthday gifts. We, we buy presents for each other when we can afford it. And I would like to thank Lady Woo's for this gift. Um, yeah, that's pretty damn cool. That green dog. Very excited about that. Very excited to show you guys next week. Also, if you can see behind me, it, you know, my, my piles are getting bigger. I got a catalog, so I better get it going because Lady Woo's going to yell at me. So... The life's a married collector. All right, guys, this is Woo's the Collector, and signing off for my first episode. No, I'm sorry. Yes, was this my? No, my second episode of 2023. 31, still going. Longer than I thought. So I'll be back next week. You guys take care. This is Woo's the Collector. Finally signing off.